Hey guys, it's TechGrant here. Welcome back to our guy video. Super excited about today. Today, we're going to record two of the same sources within OBS. One with overlays, one without overlays if you're streaming or recording. That's right. But before we get the video started, though, guys, know we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The link down below to our Twitch channel. Check us out there. For right now, let's tell you what you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need a capture card. You can use display capture, but I recommend using a capture card that supports multi-app support, which is going to let you use multiple apps at the same time for screen recording. So that's going to be a key factor. Then after you have your capture card and with multi-app support, you will need to download OBS and Streamlab OBS. So whichever one of those two screen recording softwares uses your primary for streaming and recording, you want to make that your main one with your overlays. Then which one you don't use normally is going to be the one you use to capture without overlays. So mine, for example, will be Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS. So let's, well, let's get this set on up. Okay, now that you downloaded both applications for Streamlabs OBS and OBS, you want to use the one you use as primary for streaming and recording as the main one you're going to leave your overlays on. So mine, of course, is OBS. So as you can tell, I'm going to leave that the same. And we're going to use OBS as the one I'm going to do with no overlays whatsoever. So now that we have a capture card that has multi-app support, you will be able to set up another source of the gameplay file of your PC file, which right here is me on my streaming PC, but I don't have the overlays, right? So what I'm going to do is add a version of my gameplay file onto obs streamlabs obs so we're gonna do, go here capture device add and of course add the source and then we're gonna set the capture card i use which is the 4k 16 mark pro it can be any capture card as long as it has multi-app support if it works you'll be able to see a picture here and have a picture over there on your normal pc as you usually would so that's awesome so now with this is pretty straightforward what we want to do in this process if you're going to use this up they get clips like five minute clips you can just set this up as so you can go to your normal obs go in here and go enable stream buffer or replay buffer set this up for how many seconds you want to usually do i usually do 300 seconds which is equivalent to five minutes so i can clip five minutes of the last minutes of my stream and of course it's going to use the stream encoder for that and then you basically do the same thing on normal obs so maybe if i started streaming on uh, Twitch with OBS, I want to start up this as soon as I do so, so that way I can have a key ready. And then if I have a key ready, I can just click the key and OBS will clip another version of it without the actual overlays on it. So you can see here on my actual stream deck, I have two keys set up. I have one without and one with. So if I go in here and I go over to our little clip file, I have two clips, one for Streamlabs OBS is the one, of course, with no overlays on it. Then I would have one for OBS with the ones with all the overlays and all the information I want. So that's good. So that's what you would usually do if you're just doing clips. For recording, it's a much simpler process as just clicking record. So let's say if I want to record right, I could click record here with the overlays and stuff like that. And then I would click record on this one too. So that way I would record and go into post-production. I have some B-roll to use from Streamlabs OBS. And then I have the normal recording file in OBS with all the overlays and stuff like that. I would want, so that's awesome. So yeah, that is a pretty straightforward process on how to have two different recordings, one with overlays and one without. This is a much simpler process to do if you have a capture card that supports multi-app support you can also do this with a display capture but it is more resource intensive on your pc if you're a single pc setup this will be a little bit harder to do but with a capture card it's much easier but if you're doing this as a dual pc setup with display capture and you have a streaming pc this will be perfectly fine what you're going to do so i'm going to show you guys a little clip right here of me playing call of duty black ops with my overlays first here's my overlays everything normally and now here's one with streamlabs obs capturing it with no overlays whatsoever you can see this works perfectly well. I use it for clipping files, of course. So that's what I normally do with it. But um, yeah, that is how you have two recording files, one without and one with overlays. So that way you can use it in post-production. But uh, if you did enjoy this little guy video, make sure to smash the like button, Dragon Punch the subscribe button, and don't forget to check us on Twitch. We do stream there every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And while you're down there, if you want to ask any more questions about this related subject or any related subject about OBS, feel free to ask me. Until then, Tech Grant out.